Hello, I'm Susie Bird and I'm head teacher at Folsom Manor School. I'd like to welcome you very much to our primary to secondary transition presentation. We are really sorry that we've been unable to see you in person as we had planned, but we do hope this presentation will give you a wealth of information that will really help you to feel ready to start in September. Hello, my name is Graham Bowden. I'm Postural Deputy Head and Senker at Forston Manor. Uh, I'd also like to welcome you to the presentation. Uh, we very much look forward to working with you over the next five to seven years and hope that the presentation will give you everything that you need to know about what Year 7 will hopefully look like for your son or daughter. We have been working hard behind the scenes to ensure that we are ready for your child when they arrive in September. Our pastoral team have been in contact with each of our feeder primary schools to find out more about your son or daughter, as we like to find out about the whole child and not just the academic. We are very proud of the pastoral care we provide for all of our students and their families. We've always believed that a child will only learn effectively when happy and without losing sight of the need to secure the best possible qualifications, every effort is made to ensure that our students are well cared for and given a wide range of opportunities both inside and outside of the classroom. At this point, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce each of the heads of house and the pastoral teams for each house area. Hi, I'm Mrs Forder and I am the pastoral assistant of Cromer House. Hi, I'm Ms Helen Quadrio and I'm the head of Cromer House. We're really looking forward to welcoming you in September and we can't wait to have you at Falston. We hope you really enjoy being part of the Cromer family. Hello, my name is Mrs Wood and I'm the pastoral assistant for Hales House. Hi everyone, my name is Mr Deeks and I'm the head of Hales House and we look forward to welcoming you and your family to Falston Manor School. We can't wait to meet you all. Have a relaxing summer and we'll see you all in September. Hello, I'm Mrs Goodger, I'm the pastoral assistant for Morrison House. And I'm Mr Westby, I'm the um, assistant head of Morrison um, and I'm really, really looking forward to meeting you all in the new year. And I'm Miss Jeffrey, I'm the head of Morrison House. We're looking forward to getting back to some normality and we'll see you all in September. Hi everyone, my name's Mrs Stanley, I'm the pastoral assistant here in Stanhope House. Uh, this is the best house, so you're really lucky to be joining us. Can't wait to meet you. Hello, my name is Mr Raya, I'm the Assistant Head of the uh, Stanhope House. Uh, we're really excited to introduce you to all our fantastic other year groups and uh, we're our vertical tutor over here, so they'll be here to support you just as much as us. Today. I'm Missy Franks and I'm Head of Stanhope and I'm so excited to meet you and your families and we will bond and have a fantastic working relationship over the next five years. See you soon. Each house area has around 260 students across year 7 to 11. This is their place of safety during the day. In each house area are student toilets, lockers for students to place all their belongings, access to the canteen. The pastoral office is also based here and always manned either by the head of house or pastoral assistant. The house office is your first and main point of contact as parent or guardian in the same way your son or daughter's year 6 teacher has been this year. The house area is also a place where students can socialise and have fun together. One of the big events is the Christmas dinner. This is the time for students to celebrate together with staff and peers. The school timings are very different to your child's primary school. We run a two week timetable. This will be confusing to begin with, but every student will be supported by their tutor when they arrive. Each student will also be assigned a buddy in their tutor group who will be able to help them during their induction. Each of our lessons are 70 minutes in length, at the end of each lesson, students have time to move around the school safely to get to their next lesson. You'll notice that we have a tutorial period called PDC every week one. This stands for Personal Development Curriculum. This was formerly known as PSHE. The Personal Development Curriculum is designed to help students gain the skills, knowledge and understanding they need to lead healthy, independent lives and to become informed, active and responsible citizens. All our students are encouraged to take part in a wide range of activities and experience across and beyond the curriculum, contributing fully to the life of the school and the wider community. This is an example of what a Year 7 timetable may look like. The two-week timetable does mean that Week 1 and Week 2 may be different. Each student will have a timetable which is individual to them. They should not worry about it being different to their friends as they will have the opportunity in unstructured times, for instance break and lunch time, to socialise with each other. It's beneficial for students to prepare their equipment, homework and bag the night before. This will help reduce anxiety and we hope will ease stress levels for students in the morning. 
As you can see, we offer a broad and varied curriculum in Year 7. The aim of our curriculum is to allow students to acquire appropriate knowledge, understanding and skills in preparation for the next stage of their education and beyond, to develop creative, imaginative, inquiring minds with a willingness to take risks in their learning, to encourage high aspirations, and to develop high standards of literacy and numeracy to ensure a quality of access to the curriculum and successful progression within and beyond education. Forston Manor recognises the importance of home learning to support the classroom curriculum and as such promotes a homework timetable that underpins classroom learning, but also allows students to manage their time at home. As you can see, every student will have one homework per week from Maths, Science, French and ICT. All other homework will be in the form of projects. If students would like to stay in school to complete homework, we do offer a homework club every evening. This club is supported by teaching assistants and is located in our ICT suite and library. Students therefore have the opportunity to access both computing and printing facilities. The management system we use to communicate homework and behaviour is called Class Charts. From September, every parent and student in Year 7 will receive a username and access code. The benefit of using Class Charts enables both students and parents to monitor homework being set and its deadlines, praise points for volunteering, quality of work or participation in class discussions, and negative behaviour points for non-submission of work, low-level disruption or being exited from a class. Though it may seem some time away, throughout their time with us we are preparing our students for the world of work. Therefore, we would expect all students to arrive with the correct equipment for every lesson. Some of the subject areas will require some specialist equipment such as scientific calculators, set squares and protractors. The reason for using the specialist equipment in Year 7 is to help students make quick, accurate mathematical calculations and to help the students expand the scope of their mental abilities. In relation to behaviour for learning, we also expect all our students to have a can-do attitude towards their learning. Our school motto is everybody matters, everybody succeeds, everybody helps. We believe that quality learning occurs when students feel that they are in a purposeful and peaceful environment. Creating an exceptionally positive climate for learning requires a behavioural expectation for all. The expectation is for all students to make progress in relation to their attainment at Key Stage 2. Our curriculum is structured in such a way to ensure students will be challenged sufficiently to enable them to make greater than expected progress. Students are periodically assessed throughout the school year. When doing so, teachers are encouraged to use a number of methods to help them track progress such as end-of-term assessments, homework, class books, class discussion, projects and coursework. Assessment grades are reported back to parents three times a year. In addition to this, students will receive grades from end-of-year examinations. You will also have the opportunity to discuss your child's progress directly with their class teachers at a parents' evening once a year. When teachers communicate student progress, they use our attainment and attitude descriptors. We do expect all our students to be working between a grade 7 to 9. However, if a student is displaying a variable or poor attitude to learning, communication will be made between the teacher, parent and student to identify a plan of action or intervention to help improve the learning. At the end of Year 7, students receive a tutor report detailing both academic achievements and contribution to school life and the wider community. The student's tutor is key in tracking the student's academic progress and monitoring their well-being. They are the person who knows your child best, after you of course. From this point onwards, we are entering into a partnership with you as parents and guardians for at least the next five, if not seven years. The partnership we forge with the families we serve is integral to our student success. Your continued input into the education of your child is a vital part of that success. Attendance is very important to your child's growth and success. We do expect students to attend school every day on time. We do, however, accept that there may be exceptional circumstances, such as within the current climate. At this point, we acknowledge you may well be anxious about the impact missing a significant amount of their education will have as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. We'd like to reassure you that as a school, we'll be working hard in the coming months to ensure that this loss of time does not impact your child's progress in the longer term. Some of the greatest benefits for attending school regularly are achievement. Students who attend school regularly are more likely to pass reading and math assessments than students who do not. Opportunity. It allows students to forge positive relationships with their peers and staff, having a sense of belonging. Exposure to English language. Regular school attendance can also help students to master the skills and information they need more quickly and accurately for the different subjects. Also, being part of the school community. 
Just by being present at school, your child is learning how to be a good citizen by participating in the school community, learning valuable social skills and developing a broader world view. By way of an example, Sam is in year eight. His attendance is always around 90%. He thinks that's pretty good, but what does that mean in reality? 90% attendance means he is absent from lessons for the equivalent of one half day every week, which is the equivalent of four whole weeks of lessons in an academic year. Studies have shown students whose attendance remains at 90% for the whole of their secondary education have less than 50% chance of achieving five GCSE grades nine to five, previously A to C. You'll have a copy of our attendance policy in the information pack received. This sets out our expectation that all students attend school regularly and on time. Holidays will not be authorised for students in term time. We are proud of the support we can offer our students. If you feel your child does require additional support, please contact their tutor, head of house or the SEND department. Once students are referred, they'll be placed on a waiting list. The vast majority of students benefit from the support given in school. There are though times when we may need to refer to outside agencies for specialist support. As a school, we believe that positive reinforcement is the most important factor in achieving the desired level of behaviour from all our students. Although details of the system of sanctions will inevitably occupy more space, this should not be taken as an indication that more time is spent on punishment rather than praise. The overwhelming majority of students at our school behave well and are provided with the positive encouragement of their endeavours in both formal and informal ways. Whilst most encouragement will tend to be informal, arising naturally from classroom interaction or through the pastoral system, there are formal reward structures. House points and positive points through class charts provide the most immediate and widely used of such systems. The house point trophy is awarded at the end of each term and is a keenly anticipated award in the end of term assemblies. Praise postcards and certificates are also awarded for good work within subjects, as well as end of term trophies, school colour badges and ties, attendance certificates, head teacher's commendations, star of the week, hot chocolate Fridays and a range of other methods of recognition. Students are also rewarded by being given positions of responsibility, most obviously through the prefect system. The school operates a tutor group of the week, tutor group of the term, and tutor group of the year and house of the year system. There is a financial reward for the tutor group of the term and tutor group of the year. Attendance, punctuality, participation in school events and praise postcards all contribute positively to tutor group and house success. Last year, in response to Student Voice, we introduced the Class Charts Reward Store across the school. Students can spend the Class Charts points they receive on a whole range of items, including stationery, USB sticks, cinema tickets, tablets and more. The more prizes students accumulate, the more awards or better the prizes they can choose from. Students in Year 7 to 11 are issued with a community card at the beginning of every term. This is an opportunity for praise and reward, as well as a reminder of basic expectations of behaviour around the school site. The cards are carried by all students at all times. Students are expected to wear uniform well and to have all their equipment and be on time for lessons. The cards will vary in colour and may change throughout the year. If a student receives five signatures from staff or fails to carry a card, they will receive a sanction. We also use the Sims Parent app. This is to enable effective communication with home. At the beginning of September, we will send you an activation code and details of how to access your account. In the Sims Parent app, you will find important information such as attendance, behavior, achievement and homework. School term, staff training days and contact details available at the click of a button. You'll also be able to access your child's school report and grading sheets. Receive notifications to remind you about important information such as key dates for your diary and access to update your contact details so we always have the most up-to-date information in case of an emergency. If at any time this is not accessible, you can contact your child's tutor, head of house or the help desk via the school website. We are very proud of our uniform and the pride our students take when wearing it. You will already have received information on where to purchase our uniform. We would ask that you please pay particular attention to the guidance on school shoes. We do expect students to wear appropriate footwear. If there are exceptional circumstances, this should be communicated with the tutor or head of house. We do not allow any form of trainers, whether fabric or leather.
We provide a wide range of opportunities outside of the classroom, including sports, performing arts, ICT and art. We also run trips abroad, which allow students to experience different cultures and languages to destinations such as New York and Barcelona. We have a state-of-the-art sick form block, which will be a facility available to students who opt to remain at the school for their post-16 studies. It's a wonderful learning environment for our A-level students, but also houses the school's library on the ground floor, which is accessible to students across all years, before, during and after school. You should, in addition to receiving both your welcome letter and house allocation letter, receive a pack of information about uniform and trips. Our SEND team have been in contact with all our feeder primary schools and we've been holding discussions about the students joining and receiving information regarding the support required for students with special educational or additional educational needs. Our staff receive regular training and use targeted strategies as part of quality first teaching in the classroom to provide support to our students across all areas of additional need. If you have any concerns surrounding your child's needs, please do not hesitate to contact us via email, the details of which are on your screen now. We look forward to welcoming our new Year 7s as they join our Forston family when term starts on Thursday the 2nd of September. Students meet at the front of the school at 8.40am. They will join other students in the same house and be guided to their house area. They'll spend time with their head of house and then with their form tutor. Following an initial tutor period with just Year 7 students where they will receive their timetable, student planner and a map of the school, they will also have a tour of the school to help orientate themselves. Although we've had to water our transition programme, we're still hopeful to provide all Year 7 students with an induction programme from the point they join us in September. The induction programme has proved to be a huge success in previous years. During this time, students will have non-curricular lessons which are aimed to help the students transition carefully and for them to learn about Falston Manor School's ethos and culture. As previously mentioned, you should have already received a welcome pack. Listed on the screen now are the documents that should have been included. If you have not received this pack or you're missing any documentation, please contact the school's office via phone. Sorry we haven't been able to meet you in person, however we hope this has covered everything you need to know. We very much look forward to welcoming our new Year 7 students in September and to your continuing support in the years ahead. I hope this presentation has been really helpful for you all and that you're feeling ready and excited about joining us. We're really looking forward to welcoming you all and to you joining the Fulston family and to seeing you become the wonderful young people that I know you're going to develop into. If you do still have any questions, all of the details will be at the end of this presentation. Please do not hesitate to get in contact with us. We wish you a very happy, healthy and safe summer and we'll see you soon.